I'm Janos Wilder from the Carriage House. So excited for this partnership with Tucson Medical Center. We're really looking forward to bringing you some healthy recipes, some cooking tips. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and some fun cooking. So you want to learn some knife skills? It's always a good idea if you're going to be working in the kitchen to know how to use a knife. So we're going to start with the knife itself. This is a great knife. This is my favorite knife. It's an expensive knife. You don't need to spend nearly this money on a knife. But this, this is a Japanese made knife, forged steel. It's fantastic. Keeps an edge really well. But really what we're looking for is the shape of the knife. This defines the shape of the knife right along here, the swoop of this edge. This is what we call a French knife. It's made in Japan, but it's the shape of a French knife, okay? So it really has three cutting surfaces. The tip for soft things, the whole length of the knife for carving things or anything that's pretty large, and then the base of the knife for things that are harder so you can really put some muscle into them. Now, how do you hold the knife? Do you hold it like that? No, you choke up on the knife. Put the blade of the knife between your thumb and your forefinger. That's how you get really good support. So I've been doing this my whole life. I choke up on the knife, just like baseball players will choke up on the bat to get more control over their bat. So let's do a red onion. Onions are great things to demonstrate how to do knife cuts and how to use a knife. So you peeled your onion, here you go. So you've got some choices right off the bat. Do you want to use, you want to work with it like this? Probably not. Always put the flat surface down. So we're going to cut this in half. Staff's flat surface down, so you're going from the stem right here to the tip. Just cut it in half. Now, same decision making process, flat surface down. But you're going to do something else you need to be pay attention to. You want to cut towards but not through the stem. So this is the stem end, you're going to cut towards it. The reason for that is the stem will hold the onion together while it's cutting, while you're cutting it. So, put it down and you're going to, there's a couple of different cuts we're going to teach you. One is a julienne, so you put it down like this and we're going to pivot it and go like this. Then you have these nice little rings of the onion for an onion that's really great. That's what you're looking for when you, for Julian of onion. It really means long strips. But I want you to notice how my fingers are here. So notice that I'm using my fingers as a guide. I'm using my thumb to pull my fingers towards my thumb. That lets me know how wide the cut's going to be. And it also provides a guide for my, for my knife. So I don't raise my knife up really high. I don't want to do that because I'll cut into my fingers. Just high enough and use the, the edge of my fingers are going to be the guide and I'm going to press the blade of the knife up to the edge of my fingers and scooch my fingers along is going to determine the size of the cut. Okay, so we have all this nice julienne. Now I'm going to show you how to do a dice. Okay, so we know how to hold the knife. We know how to, what to place down on the, on the, on the cutting board. Now we're going to do, it's like the graduate school we're going to do a nice dice of the onion. So we're going to cut, we talked about cutting towards, but not through the stem. And we're going to just make some, this is going to be a pretty small dice here. So see what's happened? We've cut towards, but not through the stem, and the whole thing's sticking together. So we went like this, we made our slices, now we're gonna go the opposite way. Remember how you curl your fingers? Same deal here. Come across. Your onion's still holding together because the stem's holding it together. Then come back across the other way. And now you have a perfect dice. Now this isn't gonna eliminate problem with tearing up from onions, it will help things because you'll be able to do an onion that much faster. You've got a perfect dice, now everything the same size and the same shape. So what does that matter? Who cares if they're the same size and the same shape? 
Well, you really do care about that because when you're cooking, you want them all to cook, all the pieces of the onion to cook at the same amount of time. So if some are big and some are small, smaller ones are gonna cook faster than the larger ones. That's not really terrific, plus it really looks nice in a finished product. So if you take a little, a little care with your knife, take a little care in cutting, you have a wonderful product. So a little tip for you, here's a healthy living, healthy eating, and fun cooking.